I don't know how much of the air vent you can hear because you guys are on the windowsill and the my AC unit for this room is like right there. Uh, so basically, on a on a typical week, I attend like 13 like classes, like class meetings because I have a total of six classes. Okay, this week I attended nine. Not because I didn't go to any, but because four of them got canceled and two of them were canceled today, Friday. But here's the thing with my Friday schedule. I have four classes on Friday, but my seminar class got canceled. My French class got canceled, but guess what? That's in the middle of my day. I have lab at 9 a.m for like two hours. And then typically I go straight from that to seminar. I have like a 10 minute break. This was written in my schedule, but sometimes we get out of lab early. So sometimes able to walk back to my door because it's like a five minute walk from my seminar class. Almost all my classes besides lab because labs across the street and up the hill. So yeah. And then after seminar, I typically go to French, right? Sorry, I just washed my hair so I'm getting all the water out so it doesn't drip on the floor. Anyways, after seminar, I typically, I have an hour of break to eat my lunch and then I head over to French. And then I have typically an hour break and then I have my history class. Well, today, we had 9 a.m. lab. And it was a pretty easy lab today. So we got out after like 70 minutes instead of the two-ish hours more like 110 minutes, but whatever. Notifications. Okay, so, and then I had nothing until three. So I got out at like 10, 10, 10, 20, the latest. Um, and then I didn't have anything till three. But for French, I did have to do my French test today. The third test of French, and we just have two more. And then semester done with French, which is great. And honestly, Based on what I know, because some of it was multiple choice, some of it was short answer. On the multiple choice, only one wrong. And I feel, I, wow, what word did I just try to say? Not sure. I meant to say, I'm pretty sure, I feel really confident on the written part. Um, so honestly, I did the calculations. Highest score, which I will get because I know myself. 98. And I said that's a pretty good score. Um... Anyways, since we started with Friday, why not move to Thursday? Thursday. We had our English class, which was great because we didn't have it on Tuesday, which was fine because all we're doing right now is uh, finding resources and then doing an annotated bibliography for them. So it's like completely fine. I could do that on my own time. In fact, I do it better on my own time, but during class I get to find my resources. So that's actually helpful because that's what I did Thursday. But like five minutes before class, for, uh, five minutes before English on Thursday, I found out my lecture got canceled for that day. So I'm just like, huh. You know, that's cool. But then I process as I read the email from my teacher. We have a test on Tuesday. Like four days Tuesday. I don't know why I had it almost count. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna move y'all because I don't know if you could hear the air, air vent at all, but we're gonna take a sip of water. Anyways, Thursday, right? Okay. I have nowhere to put y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold up, we're gonna use a pillow as a stool. Pillows are successful. Yes, they work. Okay, sorry. A little happy moment for myself as my hair quickly dries from my shower. Oh yeah, I just came back from the gym and just had dinner. And we ran two and a half miles. So yeah. Okay, back to Thursday. Thursday, so we had no lecture. 
so I was done of class at 11. So, I went to get lunch, because I typically get lunch after English, so it worked, that's fine. But then I was basically in my room for the entire day until uh, 2.20ish, because I decided to go to the gym at the same time, because before then, I, um, like I said, English, we're doing refining sources, annotating vibs, that thing is like due next Friday. So I was reading my resources for that, as well as seminars since we're also writing our paper and the sources are due Sunday, two days, but not the annotated bit. We have like two weeks, so we're good. We're solid. Um, so I'm reading over the sources and then doing, um, I, then I prep for today's French test, did finish my lab assignment really quick, checked it, uh, yeah. Checked into with a classmate just to make sure we're on the right topic and we're both understanding the math that's needed for lab because we're back to statistics. So yeah. Uh, and then we, I, and then I read the two pages I needed to do for history today, which was great. Well, not great because it's history. It was great, okay. Not, what I learned, like that wasn't, what happened wasn't that great. But I did the assignment, that's the great part. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then, so yeah, around like 2.20ish, we hit the gym. We did three miles yesterday. Really impressed, we kept a, a um, consistent eight mile, uh, eight minute per mile. Um, so that was good. I think that's done. I basically stayed up to like 10. Not because I had a lot of homework due today, but because I had to get through my sources and I almost finished the source yesterday. I have like seven more pages out of 24, but the way I'm going, I'm annotating every paragraph detailed. Um, so it's taking me a little bit more time, but that's fine. Uh, so I feel exhausted last night, so we stopped after 17 pages, but that's fine. Moving on to Wednesday, where I had every class that was assigned that day. There's only two days this week where I had every class that was supposed to be on that day. So yeah, sorry, there's hair on my bed. Not here, but still. Wednesday. We had seminar, we had French, we had history. Fine. Uh, we hit the gym at, uh, what did we do on Wednesday? Did we go to the gym? Oh, I just ran a mile on Wednesday because I was like, mm, not feeling it today. Wednesday was like my off day of the week. So we, we, just, we just ran a mile. And then we basically, because Thursday, I didn't really have a lot of work to do. We just read sources and annotated for the research paper. So that's what we did Thursday, or Wednesday night. Like, legit, I stayed up until 11 doing that. But I got through like three, two sources, two sources, because I finished the third one the next day. Um, which I realized the third one wasn't even that helpful but it was fine because it was like two pages so yeah and then oh tuesday tuesday no english but we had our lecture and as my voice is going away as we drink more water okay no <laughs> i messed it up why did i do that i'm not quite sure Anyways, Tuesday, we had no English, but we had our lecture, so it was a really chill day. I thought, hmm, I'll be productive and get stuff done in the morning. I didn't roll out of bed until like 9 or 10. But we did get some, some, um, basically, uh, what did we do Tuesday? It was basically 
uh, reading sources and annotating again and then doing history assignment because my seminar assignment that was due Wednesday I finished Monday so yeah also Tuesday we went to cycle bar for like the first time in two-ish years maybe three and we biked 15 miles in 45, 45 minutes I was a sweating mess like I was today yesterday and Wednesday fun mm -hmm. um so I stayed up again until like 11 because sources yay they take time as a notification it, pop, it pops up on my phone again fun uh monday we're almost done with the week recap monday monday we had seminar french show that that night i also found out there was no english so i'm like hmm i should probably get started on the assignment that's for english because it took me all the way till wednesday night to do it but because i was aware how long the english assignment I predicted how long the English assignment would have took me. It ended up being longer, but that's fine. I started on my seminar homework that was due Wednesday, so I could get that out of the way in French. Um, so it was great. And then we just did a lot of resources. Looking at a lot of resources and annotating. That's what this week is holding. And next week... But it's fine. We're, uh, we should have started this earlier, and that's on my fault. That's on my part. But I am learning. Even though I told myself I should have started earlier. But that's fine, because even though on the English uh, research paper, we started late. On the seminar research paper, we're kind of going ahead of schedule. Because I know sources are due Sunday, two days. But the annotated bib is not bibliography is not due for another two weeks and i already started it so we're good so yeah upside look on the upside bright side positive side this stuff that's going great because it makes hi it makes the mistakes look uh not as bad uh perspectives of life how you intake life uh plans for the weekend oh it's currently family weekend um but my family is not coming in town because my brother has also family weekend and he's farther so they're they're going to him which works out for me because they're like gonna visit me they're still going to visit me just not this weekend so when they do visit me it'd be better because right now campus is really chaotic because there's a lot of family events because it's family weekend and also, this weekend would have not worked for my family to show up because, like I mentioned, two research papers that I'm just doing basically for the whole weekend. Yeah. While doing my other homework. Like, after this, I'll most likely start on my seminar work, but not the paper. The homework that's due Monday, and then Wednesday, and then Friday. And then also doing French because we just finished we had a test today but that means we're starting the new unit on Monday so I have homework that's due tomorrow for Monday so yeah so I need to do that which would be really easy because it'll just be vocab so but that also means I have a vocab quiz Monday or Wednesday most likely Wednesday because my teacher is nice and actually she might have it on Monday no, she'll have it on Wednesday. We're good. We're good. I noticed the patterns with my teachers of when they assign things, like tests and quizzes. So that's really good to know. In like college, high school, middle school, even elementary, or even graduate school, noticing the patterns in teachers and when they assign stuff like tests and quizzes. So yeah, we're most likely getting up at six miles to do laundry. Fun. But that's also when we do homework. Or we write for fun. Or read a book. Or go on YouTube and distract myself. Actually, I'll probably be taking notes. 
for the like 90-ish, 70 minutes it will take to do my laundry. Uh, and then we're just doing homework. But we're hitting the gym. No, we might get breakfast after laundry. Because I try to get breakfast is once a week. But yeah. Uh, so we'll get breakfast around 8-ish. Because that's when it opens. And then the gym opens at 10. So that's when we're going to the gym. And then we'll get lunch after the gym. Because we'll probably be here for at least an hour. Because weekends is when I lift. During the actual week I just run. Because I don't have time to lift. <laughs> uh, so we'll do that after the gym. Then shower, obviously. Uh, so it'll be around one-ish, I'm predicting. Or at least one I'll start my homework. All the way into like five. And then we get dinner. And then back to homework. And then Sunday. Uh, typically the first thing I do Sunday is hit the gym, which it opens at 10, so. And then same schedule as Sunday, except we have church at 4. That's the only thing that's different, but everything else is the same, so yeah. If you do enjoy this content or any other content that I have, be sure to um, look at my shorts, they're really popular recently so that's good and be sure to look at my other live streams and videos that come out Wednesdays I have a weekly uh weekly Wednesday videos that come out so be sure to check those out they typically have a lot of life and advice and life meaning topics so if you're into that great if not there's a lot of other content on this channel that you can look at and hopefully you enjoy pretty sure you will because I find it pretty enjoyable as I have to edit the videos <laughs> that was a weird laugh for me and that sounded fake and it, I feel like it was fake but I t at the same time it was also accidental but it all sounded forced anyways as I hit myself in the face on accident not hard it was just like a tap I keep staring at my wall for some reason. Oh my gosh, the sun's sunset. I love sunset. My bra mm -mm. my back is cracking so much. Oh, this crack. Oh my gosh, hair. Hair. I sh I've been sitting here for the past week. Um doing editing sources like right here so there's just a lot of hair everywhere anyways i'm getting distracted from my own outro if you enjoyed this content please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know so you get notified of when i'm going live and when a video is being uploaded or short but be sure that like your youtube notifications are also on so you might have to go to settings or check your email not quite sure depends on the device that you'll be receiving um notifications from so yeah and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you want more weekly recaps yeah my brain the main thought process train jumped onto another track and switched with another one so like i yeah <laughs> also can't wow not camel comment down below if you have any questions for me um either about this video or anything you found interesting or that you liked or that you connect with or anything that you would like to ask me in general and i'll be sure to answer them in a timely manner but watch out because if i don't comment i might make a video about it actually so there's that for you <laughs> And we'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.